Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to see what exactly Snowflake filters are, how we can create these filters and how we can use these custom filters in our Snowflake query. Before moving on, I do recommend subscribing to my channel and hitting the like icon in case you are liking these videos. So let's move on and see exactly what custom filters are. So remember that, you know, these custom filters that we have in Snowflake, they help you just like the where clause of your SQL queries. But in case of where clause, what you need to do is you need to go ahead, you need to change the query in case you have to change the uh, where clause. But in case of custom filters, you just define the uh, filter and use that filter in the query. And in case you have to change uh, your filter, you go to the, that particular custom filter and change it rather than changing the query. So that is essentially, you know, uh, what we call as the custom filters in Snowflake, right? And they help you to, you know, uh, you know, just execute the, the queries using these custom filters. And these are just like the keywords and you can change them as many times as you want without changing directly the query itself. So let's move on to the portal and exactly see how we can create these custom filters. So this is the UI that we have been discussing in our previous videos till now, right? This is our snow site UI. This is our Snowflake UI. In case you have not seen my previous videos on Snowflake, I recommend highly, I highly recommend watching those videos prior to this one. And if you watch, uh, you know, all the videos in the play series, you will essentially get a very good hands on and a very good grip on Snowflake itself, right? Now, if you see this worksheet option over here, right on, if you click on these three dots, at the right hand side you will see there's an option of manage filter now if i click on this manage filter you will see this is how you know the ui will look like and these are the filters right you can edit the permissions over here you can add the new filter and similarly you can also go to any worksheet so let's say i go here um, like i'm just going to one of my worksheet let me just go inside one particular worksheet over here now when i am in the worksheet exactly at this point you can actually see that there is an option of filters also on the left hand side so this is the same uh, query that we have used right in our previous video so there is no um, you know uh, there is nothing very different over here this is the same select star query which we have used in our previous video on the same table so also if you go on the left hand side there is again an option of manage filter so i just wanted to show you the two options where you will see this so you can click on this manage filters option the moment you click on it so these two are the default one this was created by me and then again let me just create a new filter let me click on this filter so first thing that you need to do is you need to add a display name right so you can you know add any display name so right now just let me say display name right just just let me write it that way and the other one is your keyword right you 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 will need a keyword as well for your uh, you know filter you can add uh, a sql uh, let's say filter keyword so let me say um, let's say le let us write it as keyword itself so that it is even more simpler you might add any kind of description so let me just add it as a description uh, only account admin basically the person who can update this filter right who has uh, you know access to this particular filter basically the account through which you are creating this filter now warehouse using which warehouse this filter will be created and then we click on this query option because this uh, filter will be created via query uh, once you see this you will understand what exactly it means and let me just click on write query over here so the moment i click on write query i will you will see that this is how this query appears now this filter will come from a query so for example let me go over here let me go to the same uh, in this particular database snowflake sample data go let me go to this tables under this particular schema and let me click on this orders right so basically what i can do over here is let me say let us say select star from orders right where 
and uh, let us see what are the columns you can you know choose any column as per your condition so let me pick this order status column right where order status or in fact let me do one thing select distinct order status you'll understand what I'm trying to do just hold on from orders so basically whatever this will give me the output of this query will actually go to my filter right this is what it means so whatever you write here you will get some data from here whatever data you get from here is actually used can be used as a filter condition right now if you can see uh, maybe you can run it as well if you want to and you can see the results so the moment i run you can see that there is p o n f these are the three status of order in okay let me let's let's say i am fine with that and let me just click on done so the moment i click on done you will actually see on the right hand side you get these filters now what does this uh, filter mean so this display name is exactly the display name that you have given over here right uh, whatever you see in this drop down is nothing but a filter and this filter has come from a query right the output of the query which you have created correct now let me just select anything let's say i select o i can select any of these right so let me just select o and you can see and then you can click on save over here so the moment you click on save you will actually see that this is what we have created right this is the same filter what we have created so then the moment i do that we can click on done now once i do that right what we can do is in our queries we can actually use this filter right how we can use this filter we will see it right away now you can see in this particular query it can be any query right you can simply write where now this will exactly work like your where clause right so let me say like where o underscore order status so uh, it has its own intelligence remember that so everything you will see all the column names you don't need to type everything it will show you right is equal to now you put colon now moment you put colon you will actually see all the filters which are available now our filters filter was o underscore keyword right so let me just click on this filter right now this is what my query is now if i run this you will actually see that it gives you an error that you must provide a value for the display name filter right what does it mean now to do that what happened is on the left hand side you can go over here this is what your display name right this is nothing but the display name for your filter so all the filters which you are going to use in your query will be displayed at the top now you can go here and you can see right now nothing is selected you can simply select any of it any of this and you can click on apply because you need to apply this filter to this particular query that is why you have to click on apply right now click on apply over here it will tell you that it is applying that change and then since you have run this you will actually see the output over here so right now you will see that whatever data has come over here everything is from order status o also uh, you can see this particular uh, option on the left hand side right now the moment i click over here you will see that there are two things manage filters right which we have discussed and another is show query with filters now it is enabled now if i disable this you will see that it automatically converts into where order status equal to o right now again if i enable it you will see where order status is equal to this particular keyword so this is an option where you can directly see what the value is also you can change it anytime like the moment i click on this p and i click on apply you will see that, that this will change and all the order status p will come similarly if i change it to f and i click on apply you will again see that i will get the data where order status is equal to f now remember that you can apply as many filters as you want so right it is just a simple select star query you know you, you are writing any kind of anything you are you know you have any kind of query you can apply as many filters as you want so this is about all about filters you can share your sheet wherever you want so essentially this is all about the filters in the snowflake so i hope you like this video do remember to like share and subscribe 
to my channel so thank you so much for being till here